Hello everyone. This video we are going to how to write a program to find the sum of uh, elements present inside an array using 8086 microprocessor lab kit. So we have already seen introduction in previous videos. So this is a program. So initially I have to declare an array. So here I am going to declare an array of size 5. So these are my memory locations and these are my values which is getting saved inside array. So this is my memory location and this is going to be my values. So total I am going to take 5 values. So that first I have to uh, make my counter register CX to be 0, 05. I have to declare it. And after that, I have to uh, set my AX register also 00, 0 and my BX register also 00, 0 because I am going to perform manipulation. Previously, there should not be any garbage values. In. So I am just moving AX values with 00, 0 and BX values with 00. 0. And after that, so this is the starting point of your program, memory address of your program. So it keep on incrementing itself depending upon the size of your instruction. So here uh, I have to move SI which is going to be my source index which is going to be pointing to 3000. So 3000 is here. So if I am going to take the values of it, so I have to give the square bracket. So if I am going to use the square bracket, specific location will be taken and after that I can able to keep on updating. So I will move this SI with the value of 3000 and after that I will try to uh, move the values inside my SI. To BL. So initially my BX is going to be 0, 0, 0, 0. In that these are the elements which is going to be BL and this is going to be BH. So in this BL, I am trying to push the values of SI. So initially my value of SI which is going to be present inside 2000 is going to be 0, 1. So in first update, your BL will be uh, get the value, uh, BX will be getting the value of 0, 0, 0, 1. And after that, I am going to add it with AX. So AX also I have initialized with 0, 0. So that first it will be added with 0, 0, 0, 0. And after that, this is going to be my BX. And this is going to be my AX. And this is going to be my updated AX. Sorry, this will be 1. So this will be my updated AX. So in first iteration, it is going to be uh, doing this one. So after this one, I have to increment my SI so that I can able to move to the next memory location. And after that, I have to decrement my CX so that this count will be getting decremented. So when it is getting decremented, uh, when it is getting decremented, so I can able to push it uh, in uh, as the values of 0, 4. And after that, I have to decrement it one by one so that I can able to jump to a specific individual location. So it is going to start with 0, 5. And after that, I have to decrement to 0, 4, decrement to 0, 3, decrement to 0, 2, decrement to 0, 1. When it is going to become 0, 0, it has to cut down its loop. So I can able to do those kinds of operations here. So this CX is getting decremented and this uh, SI is getting incremented. So this jump no zero is going to verify your CX register. So at present, the CX register is going to be having the value of 0, 05. So it is not a zero value. So it is going to jump for the memory location 2010. So while typing the program, I have to specify this, I have to note down this 2010 and I have to put that memory location here. So that, that is how I can able to make the program to jump to the previous instruction. Uh, as like our normal programming, we can't able to give a name for a loop and I can able to jump it. It should be the memory location of the exact instruction which you are going to move. So after that one, I have to push the values to some other places. Uh, that can be taken care by DA. So before that, I have to repeat the loop again and again. So the next value my BL is going to take is going to be 0, 02, since source index is going to be jumped to 3001. So the BX value is going to be 0, 0, 0, 002. So my AX value is 0, 0, 0, 001. So in next jump, it is going to be getting the value of 0, 03. So this is going to be BX and this is going to be AX and this is going to be AX again at final value. So and the next iteration, uh, so in all the values, my CX is getting decremented. This is going to be 0, 05 and this is going to be 0, 04. So this is the value of CX and this is the value of CX. So after this point, I can able to uh, see my AX register is getting the value of 0, 0, 0, 003. 
so my bx is going to get the value of 0 to 0, 0, 0, 0, which is the next element of my si so again i am going to add it it is going to be 0, 0, 0, 005 so my cx value becomes 0, 03 so it is going to be cx and the si will be 3002 so like that i have to jump for every locations as like our normal programming methodology we will jump one by one by incrementing si as well as i am decrementing my cx so the loop is going to stop here because the five uh, memory location has been completed so the loop will stop there and after that you can able to see the result so 0 1 0 2 0 2 0 2 it is going to be 6 7 8 9 10 in hexadecimal 10 is going to correspond to 0 a so this is my required output after finding the sum of arrays so uh, if I, I have to move this specific ax to some memory location right so since I have used D, uh, SI as source index, I will use DA as destination index. So I am pushing the values in 3050, that 3050 is getting the value of DI and after that I am pushing the value of AX to that specific memory location. So that your value will be uh, 000A. So this 0A is going to take the position here and this 00 is going to take the next position. So when, actually it is 51. So uh, these are the places where we can able to uh, see my output. So like this I can able to do the program and I can able to uh, do the addition of the programs in terms of arrays. So if I want to cut down those uh, starting points and ending points or middle points, I have to do with the help of my SI. So in the same way I can able to perform average of an array, sum of an array, difference of an array or subtraction of an elements of an array. So all those things I can able to do it one by one by changing the instructions corresponding with addition, subtraction, multiplication. So if I want to uh, do in terms like if I want to take the even locations only. So I will start the memory space with 2000 and I will increment my SI twice. So that after getting 3000 memory location, next jump will be 3002. So I will add my uh, 01, 02 and 03 because it is going to take its even location. If I take, want to take the odd locations, first I will start from 3001 and I will, uh, actually this is going to be, so next it is going to be starting from uh, 01 to 03 and after that I don't have any problem, uh, any elements here. So 02 will be added to 02. So you are going to get the value of 04. Like this I can able to do the addition of uh, even memory locations of an array or odd memory locations of, both the things are also possible. Now we can move into uh, programming with kit. To start with, so you can able to switch on the kit. Usually we have to type A and we have to start typing the program. So I have already loaded the program inside your microcontroller. So I will use the command U to see the uh, codes which I have already typed to save time. I have done like that. So I can able to uh, directly go there and I can able to see the uh, instructions which I have given. So I can able to type U and uh, enter. So it is going to be disassembler. I can able to give the memory location. So my starting address is going to be 2000. And after that I can able to see CX is going to be 0005. I have typed the same way uh, as I have shown in PPT. So 0000 initializing of it. And after that uh, this SI comma 3000. So I, it has to point the data location. And after that, I have to see, yeah, this is 2010, right? This is what I have to be very careful about. This is the place where this is the memory location where I have to give in future. So add AX comma BX. And after that, I can able to 2014. Uh, it is incrementing SI. After that, decrementing CX. After that, I can able to move jump no 0, 2010. This is a memory address which is going to be present in the location where I am trying to move the address of SI into uh, BX. So this is my destination index, so 3050. So the value of AX will be moved inside my destination index and after that I am going to halt the program. So after typing that program, I have to give the uh, array values. So in order to give the array values, I will type SB 3000, which means like 3000. So I can able to check the values are there or not. If it is not there, I can able to type 01, 02, 02. 0, 02 and 03 total elements I have given in order. 
So after that, I have to uh, reset it. After resetting it, I have to execute the command using go. Now starting address is 2000, so I can able to press enter here. Yeah, it's executing, press reset. And after that, I can able to see the specific memory location, SB3050. So that I can able to see the output. So it is going to be 0A00. So this is how we are going to make our program. Thank you for watching.